everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammy, and this is Joshua, my grandson. Today, guys, we're out here having a little picnic. We're trying to have a picnic, and we have a rocket stove here, a silver fire rocket stove. Let me give you a close-up look. This thing is really cool. So, we've got the silver fire rocket stove. And Joshua just broke up some sticks and uh, we got some stuff here that we want to cook. The sun is going down so hopefully you'll be able to see what we're going to be doing. But right now he's got the sticks broke up and we're going to feed it through that chamber right there. Now what's so cool about this is, let me put this down. So what's so cool about this is that uh, one of the things is that it has a little uh, like a little flame here and this is lets you know that you don't get your stick too big like this one right here uh, it might work but according to this little flame right here it uh, a little metal piece right here let me show you so there's a, a little piece right there you kind of measure your sticks by that you really don't want them bigger than that. That just helps you out. Also, it helps you to be able to lift this up. So we're first going to we're first going to um, see if we can take and put these sticks into this chamber. So Joshua, you want to try to lift that up and lay some sticks in there? Put some more in there. Get them close together as you can. We're just going to them straight. So he's going to be loading that. And then once we uh, we start it, we're actually going to use some um, kindling from my wood stove. And actually these sticks are that I pick up out of my yard that I actually use to start my wood stove. So we're going to take that kindling right there and light it. And, uh, also, what we're going to do is take some paper and stick it at the top, and uh, then we're going to put some sticks at the top, and we're going to have those sticks down there, and then we're going to try to light this. Now, I've never done this before, so this is a new experience for me. So I took and pulled the sticks back out, leave it supposed to low light that, and then what we're going to do is take some paper and ball it up, put some sticks, in, uh, put some paper and ball it up and put it in at the top and put some sticks in and then we're gonna also push those little sticks in at the bottom and light it and see what we get so what i'm gonna do is stick some paper down in there and uh, pull this out just a little bit this is supposed to be your chamber to push your sticks in i guess you can have it further out but um a little ledge at the very end of it, it kind of hooks. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave that out. So we'll have a little place to lay our sticks. And uh, on this thing, it's really good to take and use any kind of sticks outside. Now these are dried. You can use pine cones. We're going to put some pine cones in there. And we're going to take some sticks. And sticks are supposed to be no longer than your little table right here. I'm going to break these up a little bit more. Hopefully I've got enough paper in there. Get it started. That's what the paper's for. Oops. All right. So now we got some kindling here, and we're gonna see if we can get it lit. We 
Gwen will let me. I'm trying to get this out of the wind so it'll light. The wind just picked up. I don't want to see if I can do it this way. Alright. Rolling out some smoke. Now the top of this is very durable. It's made of cast iron, and the bottom has got little uh, air holes here, so it takes the air from the bottom and brings it up. So we're going to let it sit there and burn for just a minute. So I wanted to burn a little bit because of the manufacturing oil and stuff. Just go ahead and get all that burned off. And what you got to do, this is an awesome thing, is that you just got to keep feeding your chamber here. Now when you're cooking, then you want to, this door needs to be closed. So we're going to let that burn for just a minute. So now we got a very good flame here burning really good into the chamber and I'm just letting it burn a little bit to get like I said all those oils off so we've got a coffee pot here we want to make some cocoa we've got some hamburgers we want to cook we've got some hot dogs and we've got our frying pan ready we've got a pot so we're gonna boil some water try to put some oriental noodles in there and see how it does so I'm just gonna push some more stuff in there we just continue to feed it. As you can tell we've got a nice big flame here. Now this is cool to the touch. As hot as that flame is, it's really cool to the touch. It's amazing. When you're cooking, you, like I said, you want to close this and this out, you're going, to, you're going to close it. When you're done with all this and it's cooled off, you just take it, tilt it to the side and the ashes come out. And you tilt it, tilt it upside down. Like I said, it's the first time I've done this, so this is, you're seeing me do this as, as the first time. Now this chamber right, this this uh, excuse me, this this stainless steel plate here is helps you to lay your sticks so you can kind of just push them in. This is good and for like off grid. This is good for like what we just seen across America where people lost power. They didn't have any power. They couldn't cook. They couldn't boil their water. So this is something, it's only about 12 pounds. This is something you can carry with you on camping. It's something for just emergency. This is a great source of dependability uh, that you can count on because it really just tastes like pine cones, sticks, leaves, just stuff that you can find around into the yard. Of course, you have to continue feeding this, but that's the beauty of this is that you can find stuff out laying around, sticks to pine cones, and you can go out in the woods and get some little sticks and it makes it great for all your survival needs. Joshua went and got some more sticks out of my wood box just in case we need them. What do you think, Joshua? I think this thing is pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool too. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, Can't wait to cook on it. Ah.
now we're gonna put this cast iron frying pan on there and look how well it fits on there. What we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be cooking some hamburgers. Cast iron on cast iron. Cast iron on cast iron, that's a good, that's a good thing. All right, go. Man, this is awesome. Oh, listen to that. It's already sizzling. Oh, we're supposed to close this. So we're going to push those up in there. We're going to put a couple more sticks in there. You got to keep feeding it. That's the thing. I'm going to have to break that one up a little bit more. I can't breathe. Let me get a smaller one. Put that one put down in there. And we'll just keep checking it. Got to close that. Good. Okay. Oh, this is one, y'all. Gosh, that makes you hungry right there. That's camping right there. So, let me get my pot holder here. But guys, you hear that? It is sizzling. And it got, it got pretty hot quick. And these hamburgers don't have much fat into them. So, uh, so I, what I did is I kind of lifted it off of there. Um, and I think that, you know, just putting less Less sticks in there because you really don't want it like blazing like probably like I got it right now. But like I said, I've just done this for the first time. I think it takes a little bit of experience. It's so easy to learn. So the flame is kind of going down some. And according to the way it's sizzling, I feel like that by the sound that sizzling, it's kind of calmed down some. So next time what I'll do is to make sure that this fire is not too, too hot when I'm cooking hamburgers. This smells really, this smells really, really good. <laughs> it's like like a perfect mixture between like cooked hamburgers and like a camp bun. Yeah, I like that too. It smells really good. I, I like that too. So one of the things is that, you know, that my hamburgers are a little charred on one side. It's because I forgot the spatula on the inside, so we had to run and go get it. But it's coming down now and uh, you can take your stick and lift this door up. See, see how your fire is doing. This is, yeah, it's doing pretty good. So we're not going to put no more sticks in there. See if I can get that to close. Not too hot. So after this, are we going to do the cocoa or the hot Yeah, we're going to do the cocoa. All right. Let me see if I can get that to close. It is a nice and juicy booger. Oh, Boogers. yeah. Man, this is awesome. Loving it. Loving it, guys. Woo! Come out. Man, it smells good and looks good. The sun is going down. We got a few clouds. Sure how the lighting is, but it sure looks good from here. So when my I put some more sticks in there, so the minimum is the best. But um, and once you put the pot on there, it calms, it calms that fire down. It kind of goes around the pot. But I learned with the cast iron because you know cast iron gets hot in itself. It continues cooking. So when I feel like it's getting too hot, I just take the cast iron off the stove. But guys, these things. I know you probably can't see it because the sun's gone down. It is a lot of grease that came out of. Not too bad, but not not too much. Uh, not too much uh, fat into the burgers.
Wow. All right. Here it is, my guys. You can take a fish in. Camping. Camping. Beach. Is that all the hot dogs? Yep. Right. That's gonna be some good hot dogs. Hopefully they don't knock this over. Looking good, looking good. Mm -hmm. So we got our bread ready. We didn't have a hamburger bun. We're okay, we're country. Light bread. Yeah. White bread, light bread, whatever you want to call it. Bread, just bread. So, we got 10 minutes. We're going to be cooking something else. And we're going to have some cocoa with this. This is going to be an awesome meal, isn't it, Joshua? Yeah. What do you think? It's going to be a really good thing. I haven't had hot dogs and hamburgers at the same time in a long time. <laughs> Plate. So the next time I cook hamburgers, I just make sure my stick is not as, you know, kind of get it just like it is down there right now, a little bit, a little bit more. I'm putting some sticks in there, but look, there's a hot there's a sunshine. Can have Sunshine's gonna get that one. He already named. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna get two. Okay. Now guys, I got my little tray there and I've stuck some more sticks in there because we're going to cook some noodles and noodles and see how they do. stuck some pine cones in there. Got a door open. Of course, when you cook, you close the door. I had a little problem earlier because the door on the side was, just didn't want to go in there good. I guess it needs to be bent just a little bit. But that door part does get hot. You have to watch it. You don't get burned. Yeah, I burnt myself a couple of times, but not on the out, outside of it, just that door because that door was uh, slides in and it uh, wouldn't go in completely, so I had to push it with a stick. So I just closed that door and actually touched it, and believe it or not, it, it wasn't, I could touch it with my fingers. So, still you have to be careful. So we're just waiting for that Gonna burn a little bit and we're gonna put our water on. Guys, they say that you can can't do some cannon on this type of thing. Of course, you'll just have to keep feeding the sticks in. 
but as hot as it gets, I mean, it cooks real good, cooks the hot dogs. I mean, I, I can I can see as long as you've got the sticks and keep poking it in there, um, you probably have to, you know, with your um, PSI, your pressure, your, you know, we with the, um, in your area, whether it's 10 pounds of pressure or, or 11, 12, or whatever it may be, um, might have to lift it up a little bit if it got too hot but but you know I think you with a little bit of time and experiment you can learn how to can with something like this guys it's already steaming we just walked in the house to get the mayonnaise and mustard and ketchup and came right back out and it is steaming already that is awesome What do you think, Joshua? This? Yeah. Really, really good. Wow. Tastes like it was on a grill. Really? Wow. Any hamburger from us, please. <laughs> All right, ramen noodles. You burnt my. You burnt. My <laughs> 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 so I burned the sand with the pot. It got. I don't know how I did it, but I did. Y'all is boiling. Those noodles are cooking. Are you on the Too table? Low. Are you on the table? Yeah, on the table. Ah. I'm a little bit short. Now in the pot, of course, you whatever pot you use is fire. It's going to get black like that. I believe dish detergent. I think it's dish detergent. Just pure dish detergent and wipe it on there. It'll make it come off. Here's the pressure washer. Pressure washer. Guys, I'm fixing to try this hot dog. I don't like all the bread, but it's good. I like the hot dog. Good. good. Hmm? Did that hamburger is good? Hamburger is good. I'm fixing to try the hamburger now. What are you laughing about? <laughs> okay, so she wanted to get the spoon back. <laughs> she, she just over here just grabbed the spatula. <laughs> I forgot the spoons. I said, well, this is Cap and we'll have to share. So, <laughs> how is it? This looks good. It tastes like plain ramen. I, I think it's didn't cooked, right? Yeah. What, do you need more seasoning? Mm -hmm. I forgot to put the noodles sauce in it. You want some more? Let me taste it. No, I don't want more. No, no, no. Mmm. Now, that's, they're done. They're, they're nice. They're good. They're really good. Wow. Now I got to try the hamburger. Mm. I actually like them better. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you got to we, we got to share the spoon. I'm sitting here with a half a bag of seasoning. <laughs> And she's just like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just looked at your face. I was like, oh, I forgot to share the spoon. <laughs> That's funny. I guess I'm just going to sit here and eat my thing. Is it good? You don't know yet, do you? <laughs> no. You don't know yet, do you? Uh -uh. Well, you know what? I got to put some um, little sticks in our rocket stove. 
I still see the heat coming out of it. good. It tastes nothing like on the stove. I think it tastes better even on the grill. I think this even tastes better. Second. So guys, we are having a picnic out here into the backyard. And isn't it wonderful? We didn't have to go far, did we? We said to walk about 15 to 30 feet. We just walked 15 to 30 feet. So now, uh, this hamburger, I've had the hot dog, I had the Oreo noodles. Now I'm eating the hamburger, and I, the hamburger is one of my favorite foods. So I'm really impressed with this. And then it's, the, the sun has gone down. It's actually getting cool out here. And uh, I've got some plants to get in. But uh, we're fixing to fix some cocoa. So I've got the sticks in there. And I think, not, Josh, we can go ahead and put it on there and see if we can go ahead and get that water boiling. I wanted the fire to calm down. Uh, I'm learning this. This is the first time I've ever did it. So, um, yeah, you know. Um, so we're going to put the, um, I'll let the fire calm down some. Put some sticks in there. We do have to consistently feed it, but I'm letting the fire calm down. And we're going to just boil some water. And, have, and I've got some cocoa mixed out here. And we're going to have some cocoa. Guys, check out the hamburger. It's good. Loving it. We gonna do more of these, Joshua? Yep. Oh, it does fit on. I think it fits on it pretty good. Mm. No, no, no. In the cup. In your cup. Where? Right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what we'll do is just, we'll have to taste it. You to force one in there? Y'all, we got hot cocoa. You wanna taste it? didn't get it too hot because it's really starting to get dark here. Yeah, his mom just showed up. So he's going home. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you so much. This is the rocket stove, um, silver fire rocket stove. It's good for survival, camping. We're camping out in the backyard at the picnic table. We're camping, you know, in case you have a, a power failure, 
failure. 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 <laughs> a power failure. Or you know, or you need to boil some water in case you don't have any water and you need to get some water out of a creek or something other. You can you know take it, heat up that water, you know, sterilize that water. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. This is Joshua, my grandson, and we are having a blast here. We are full and we are cooking on the outside with a rocket stove. And we thank you so much. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on to the next video. God bless you. Bye.